from Austin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. What's up? We have a fun video planned for you guys. I don't even know what it is. Austin knows what it is. <laughs> How do you because, know it's fun then? Dude? Because it's always fun here on the Dickie Dine Show, and you would know if you liked, commented, and subscribed to That's see true. more. <laughs> That was a good promo. That was a good plug. That was a good fucking plug, bro. Thanks, bro. I appreciate that. Swear, uh, bleep the, I'm sorry. I swore. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible. We will always be demonetized. I can't help it. All right, Austin, what do we have today? Oh, so today, laddie, I was thinking we could honor the old St. Patrick's in his lore and how he came from and celebrate the days that we've been going around here kissing okay. the old shillelagh okay. and the shamrock and okay. bludgeoning old okay. fellas down in the road with the old mill. Oh, I'm getting high now, dude. Yeah, Let's go. Uh, just Irish pride. I'm like 50% Irish, dude. Let's fucking go. Dude, I'm like way less Irish than I thought I was. I I'm so Irish. My I'm grandfather so moved here from Ireland mm -hmm. with his family. You, funny, you know, funny fact. Mm. Uh, Saint Patrick is not Irish at all. Really? Uh, he's from the UK. Interesting. Yeah, he was. So actually, how did was, that all get mixed up? He was uh, kidnapped from the UK and oh. forced to be a slave in Ireland. Oh. And then when he was. Uh, liberated, he came back to spread the word of Christianity and became a saint oh. of Ireland. When he came back to UK, uh, yeah, he well, so he got kidnapped. So he was freed, kidnapped. He yeah, got he was like uh, taken. He got taken from UK. Was a slave in Ireland. Was uh, vindicated or what's it called when you become a free man from the, uh, anyway? Um, became a free released, guy. Yeah, whatever. And in got to go back home and then. He like in, wanted to bring Christianity to Ireland because mm -hmm. his time there, you know, he, nobody knew it there. Gotcha. Like it wasn't a practice thing. Gotcha. So he came there and became the patron saint of like spreading Christianity to Ireland. And he was known for uh, driving out the snakes from Ireland, which there were no, there's no snakes in Ireland. It was like a metaphor for. <laughs> so then, for, what did he do? He basically brought Christianity and was like, those people are bad because they don't believe in Christianity. And, and they also, were like, I do like, stuff with snakes, like vagrants or like uh, I don't know. Like people that weren't from Ireland, <laughs> he kind of just would like cast aside a I'm bunch of people. I'm very excited for the two people that are watching this know all about the mm -hmm. St. Patrick's floor to be like, actually, what happened was actually, actually what hit me with it. The the funny thing is, there's a nothing funny about St. Patrick Day. <laughs> there, there's a group. <laughs> first of all, there's group nothing funny. It's possible. it's not hilarious at all. <laughs> uh, there's a group of people that. Like throughout history, there's always a story of snakes versus eagles. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people think it's like a secret society thing. So that's where the metaphor would come from. From well, also a lot day. of the people. So, oh, okay. no, no, Define no, 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 no. a lot of people. I think, I think you that's and your just, friends. Nope. I think that's confirmation bias because also in since the Bible, snakes were just a <laughs> metaphor for bad things. Since the Bible. <laughs> yeah, since the dawn of man. Since the dawn snakes of Snakes just Bible. represented like evil and nefarious things and things you don't like or the things that don't agree with Christianity. True. There's a group of weirdos that think that there's a bunch. Okay. You know. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm not saying you're wrong. I just don't think that's the reason that lore exists. All right. So what are we doing today, Austin? We're, uh, we're, we're... Uh, one more thing before I go. He okay. wore blue. Whoa. Wasn't even a green thing. So he got pinched a lot, right? <laughs> yeah, they're like, you stupid idiot. Did you ever actually have someone that on St. Patrick's Day would pinch you? Like, oh, yeah, and I'd hit him. Really? Mm -hmm. I never I had like someone it. actually, like, physically... Because they would do... Like, I'd always wear, like, green underwear. It's like a safe fit. Like, what's up, bitch? Uh, but sometimes they'd come up not see him. Like, <laughs> how's it going? And just hit him yeah, in the chest. Just, just cave them. their... Yeah. Turn them and eat cereal out of it. <laughs> All right, so number one on... <laughs> So I haven't even said what the video is about, have I? I just I went on the Irish rampage and then didn't even clarify what we're doing. <laughs> My Irish rampage. Uh, <laughs> Eat cereal. What the? F you ever done that? You can't just <laughs> casually say that and move on. Like I'm not gonna be slayed. Yeah, anyway, moving on. Oh my god. So I've All got right. 10 fun things that people do around the world to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Okay. Which is fun because it's a it's like an Ireland thing and it's been slowly adopted by like the entire world, which is a fun thing to find out. Do like, we do people do you still celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Who are you, are you asking me? Everyone. <laughs> I'm asking the collective group. Do you? Do you? Uh, well, after this research, I did like way more people celebrate way more? than I thought. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Like a lot of people. So maybe just in like Western culture, it's maybe died out, or maybe I'm just. Yeah, I just don't think you're going to the right the bars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go to any like Irish adjacent bar on St. Patrick's Day, you know and there's a million people you've never the seen. The thing about there. that though is every drunk. Likes to claim they're Irish. That's true. Just because, oh yeah, well you know I'm Irish, so I gotta drink nine. And then even if you're not I... Irish, you're like, I just love the culture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. It's like, no, you're an alcoholic. You're not Irish. <laughs> but I get 
to be alcoholic today. <laughs> but it makes it sense happen. now. I don't get shamed as much. Oh, dude, this is... I f hate these types of places. New London, Wisconsin. Oh. oh who's naming their city Damn. New London in Wisconsin, bro? <laughs> Where are you from? New London, Wisconsin? <laughs> like, <laughs> really, bro? That's so lame. Uh, in New London, leprechaun, leprechauns, oh my god, leprechauns crawl leprechauns. around the city and change all the signs to New Dublin for the day, even on the highway. Apparently, this tradition stems from the wave of Irish immigration that fundamentally altered New London's previously German culture. So there's just like a group of 20 guys that dress up as leprechauns and in the middle of the night go around and put New Dublin on all the signs of New London. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. <laughs> Ace Dublin. <laughs> and they've got pictures and it's just like a... It looks like a barbershop quartet of I old I want to hang out with those guys. <laughs> yeah, they're just like... <laughs> they're probably drunk as shit. It's been, just like... They probably... It's like in their family, too. They've been doing it for generations. Yeah. So like, we're the sign... We're the Dublin leprechaun. Boy, I need a hammer. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, number two, in Portland, Maine... Uh, Every year they do a Paddy's Day plunge, uh, which involves them just in mass jumping into the freezing Atlantic Ocean at 5:30 a.m. Full plunge. Uh, and for those who brave the frigid waters, they get a free Irish breakfast after. So what what does St. Patrick's have in common with being cold? Plunged? Jumped into the ocean? I don't yeah. know. Maybe it's a <laughs> shout out to all the slaves that jumped. Is that a thing? <laughs> that was God telling me to chill. <laughs> He's broke my phone. Oh, just broke. <laughs> I think I've reached I've reached my quota of inappropriate jokes for the day. <laughs> uh, it's never a quota. So was that a thing? Was, never a quota. Was that a thing? <laughs> just uh, but yeah, you get a little nice breakfast, and they do an auction and a raffle after. Where did you say this was? Uh, this one is in Portland, Maine. Portland, Maine. Oh yeah, yeah they do some weird over there. Yeah, just do a bunch of crack and jump in the ocean. Yeah, Stephen King writes a lot. Uh, I think he's from Maine, mm -hmm. and then he writes a lot about Maine and yeah. some weird shit. Dairy Maine yeah. made a place. Uh, okay, That's fun. Number, number three in New Orleans, uh, <laughs> it says, no one throws a parade like New Orleans. And on St. Patrick's Day, the city flocks down to the Irish uh, Chanel neighborhood for a veritable street party. Uh, where they, <laughs> this is right, this is what they do, this is the gimmick, is there's a big food fight every year that, that takes place, and they use uh, common ingredients found in Irish stews, and then it specifies a specially cabbage, so, <laughs> to, to the point that the Dude. ceremony has essentially become people just hurling heads of cabbage at each Dude, other. Get a yeah, concussion, bro. <laughs> it, Some of those heads of cabbage were like this big. There was a clause put in to where if you're throwing cabbage, you can only throw it underhand because it caused oh, too many injuries. Yeah. <laughs> People sure. were just beaming <laughs> cabbages on like an eight year old. <laughs> you just try to celebrate St. Patty's Day and your kid has a up eye the rest of the Cabbage that. nerd. Idiot. <laughs> An idiot? What was that? And potato hits. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my God. I was going to say, yeah, what? Cabbage, potatoes, carrots, everything that hurts. It's just so funny, really too, to like bad. go to like a big gathering and everyone's having a good time and hanging out and eating, and they're like, you ready for the cabbage destruction part? I was like, yeah, ready, Let's dude. Let's do it. <laughs> That's wild. That's All right. funny. <clears throat> Number four. Big ass cabbage fight. <laughs> In Chicago, <laughs> Illinois. Uh, of all the cities that dye their waterways or landmarks green for St. Patty's Day, Chicago's Green River is the most famous. Uh, every year, they turn the entire river, which runs through the whole city, mm -hmm. uh, they, they dye it green, and it lasts for like three to four days. And they've been doing it for more than 50 years. That's just Flint's water supply. <laughs> <laughs> right? They're like, no, it's it's a cool trick, That's isn't just it? That's all the algae and the frogs. Yeah, it's. Uh, I was weird. I was looking. I got like down a rabbit hole. I was just looking into the fam. There's two families, and they've been doing this for 50 years. Where they just take two boats. Two families. Yeah. do this? And they, That's they, it. Yeah, two families. They take two boats, <laughs> and one of them dies the river, and the other one goes behind and like mixes it up. Oh, what the. F uh, and uh, they've just been doing it for. F Ever there, it's like their family thing. They're a, a families of plumbers, and that's where they get the dye from. It's like a vegetable oil oh, used to find leaks, and then so they put it in the river to dye it every year, and it's just become that's a like tradition some rich down there. White people. Right, like you know, that's like, probably doing... so much money in that dye too to just like everyone's yeah, gonna stain yeah, the river. Yeah, maybe who knows? That's so. It's funny, a, an interesting tradition though. <laughs> just like that's our celebration. The water's green now. <laughs> yeah. Like, is there a party? No. It's just green water. No? <laughs> yeah, don't drink it. It's green for three it's days. Toxic, Stay out of so. it. It'll stain your skin. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. 
All right, number good, five. Good on them. In Hot Springs, Arkansas. Uh, Hot Springs is the home of the world's shortest St. Patrick's Day parade, uh, which is funny. It takes place on the shortest street in everyday use in the world. That's the whole name of the of the bridge. Uh, and it was a Ripley's Believe It or Not for <laughs> being the shortest bridge. It's 98 feet long. Uh, and they do an hour-long parade across it. How fucking slow are they going? Right, it's the shortest bridge, and they do the longest parade like, possible on it. And for some reason, it includes Elvis impersonators <laughs> and, and a Blarney stone kissing contest. Those are like, like the two draws. Is that there will be a guy <laughs> pretending to be Elvis, and then the Blarney thing from Ireland. Remember, remember the big rock? It's not that rock, but you can kiss a rock, and an Elvis is gonna perform. <laughs> like, are we it's for the kids? Is this St. Patrick's it's Day? Why for the, the kids? It's Elvis. It's St. Presley Day. <laughs> so there we go. St. Yeah. Presley Day. Have you ever <laughs> kissed a Blarney rock? No, but I am desperately trying to do an Elvis Ireland impression in my head. Yeah. <laughs> like how to? Oh. <laughs> How do you do it? You can't. Hubba, hubba. Oh, top of the morning to you, baby. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> hey, how's it going, baby? Top of the morning to you. Where's the leprechauns at? Here's a Blarney. Kiss it. <laughs> oh, top of the morning. That's pretty funny. That's wild. Mm-hmm. Good on them. The Blarney. I like yeah, that. I don't think I'd kiss the Blarney. Have you seen that videos of the actual, like, how you're supposed to do it? No. It's like a huge, giant boulder on, like, a bridge, and you have to climb, like, underneath it and grab, like, railings and stick your head, like, above the like ocean oh my <laughs> and, God. and kiss underneath the rock i'm like dude i'd be just like some old woman just yeah i'm gonna kiss the blur <laughs> just dies in front of them <laughs> it looks so sketchy dude just to kiss this rock that millions of people have kissed right that rock so it's not deserving the, of your the start love. of it was that rock right there dude i bet in a, another life, the the gum wall in Seattle is best buds with the Blarney. <laughs> <laughs> I've never kissed a Blarney rock. Uh, I've kissed a few girls that have the personality of a rock. Yeah, I've kissed a few Blarneys, if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right. Uh, Next one. Uh, the International Space Station. Ooh. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's anything. I know. It looks bad. Uh, so, yeah, this is just a thing, I guess, whenever they get a chance. Uh, <laughs> if there's somebody in space during St. Patrick's Day, they'll usually try to make a thing about it. Like, t- uh, a guy took a video of Ireland from space and, like, <laughs> quietly sang Danny Boy in space. Oh, Danny Boy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, phone up in space. Any boy, the pipes, the pipes. Uh, yeah, and they've done that twice, where a guy played a flute in space on St. Patrick's Day as well to commemorate the date. And I guess the the International Space Station has made it a point that if anyone's ever in space on St. Patrick's Day, they're like, "You got to do something, do something for the gram, <laughs> dude. Make some content up there," <laughs> which I find to just be like so funny. <laughs> it's only happened twice, and there had to be like a superintendent that was like, "Hey, Mark, can you?" Find Dublin up there and do a little funny video for us. Oh, Dude, funny man. enough, I brought my pan flute to space. Yeah. I could actually Watch bust this. this out. Put a river dance real quick. That was very funny to me. Yeah, damn. All right, for the next one, we got uh, Issei Japan, uh, which wasn't expecting Japan to be like big patty heads, but they yeah. are. Uh, one of Japan's St. Patrick's Day's parades kicks off at uh, the Issei Shrine, and it is dedicated to a Shinodo sun goddess. Uh, it's got Japanese flags and the Irish flags flying in tandem, and uh, residents like to dress as leprechauns, play bagpipes, and do jigs. I f- with that. <laughs> Just that sounds like what I want to do every day. It, it was so, all day, every it, day. It's really funny too. I found like I looked this up in like uh, ten different articles to try to find like more specifics, mm-hmm. and every single one of them specifically mentioned that they do jigs, which yeah. I thought was very funny. That right. That's you gotta, part you of it. Dance. Like there's other things. There's not always leprechauns, but you have to do a jig. That uh, that's what humans were meant to do. To do jigs. Hang yeah. out with other humans, like a small group of like 40, mm-hmm. 50 humans. And just hang and do some jigs. Have bonfires and do jigs. Dress up, be goofy. Yeah. And then uh, this is a funny part too. The day ends with an oyster eating festival. Oh, <laughs> Just God. like a random add on to that. Everyone tired from dancing? We've got all you can eat oysters. <laughs> so I I like most seafood. Mm-hmm. I f- 
hate oysters. It's it's definitely they're uh, so an acquired fishy thing, and sure. slimy. Like I know you're supposed to just shoot them, right? Which is a funny thing to be like. It's a food you can't don't yeah, taste just, it, just don't chew it. it. But it's like it feels like a <laughs> snot loogie mm-hmm. going down your throat. It tastes like bad fish. It's usually like got like a little piece of sand in it. It's just <laughs> oh, not geez. like shrimp. Snoogie. Cool mussels. Cool. Uh, even clams. Fine. Like you everything ever had, else. You ever had gooey duck? I don't think so. I don't think so. Th- th- that's what those things that look like, right? They're like he. Well, I mean, I guess depends what kind of. Dick, but yeah, they're like those huge like sand clams that look that have like a yeah, giant yeah. hammer of dawn coming out of them. <laughs> a giant hammer duck. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever had one of those, but yeah, oysters suck. Bro. I'd get gooey with some ducks. Uh, in Sydney, Australia, uh, they light up the. Sydney Opera House, you know, like their most infamous land structure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they uh, they light it up green every year just to be like, hey, we like. <laughs> they don't do a celebration or anything. We like they just, the color green. They just too. turn their building green on that day, which is funny to be like. Yeah, right, we right wanna, We want to attract some tourists. So it's green today. It's green. Isn't Come that on. cool? Come on over. I know, it is a funny thing too because I I didn't even realize that they had the ability to turn those lights different colors. Mm. <laughs> it's funny. And then uh, oh, here's a here's that picture of the river. Oh my god, that is like. Crazy green, yeah, isn't that wild? And it, it's like a huge and two, 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 two one, homes. one family does that. Uh, two, two, two families, families two families, yeah, two families, two families of plumbers. How are they not getting fined by the city for I, doing uh, that? I shit? think the city like encourages it. They, oh, like, they, love, they love that they do that. Okay, yeah, that'd be funny if they if nobody knew. It's just every St. Patrick's Day, the river turns green, and they're like, Who's doing this? Yeah, <laughs> be funny. And then for the last one, uh, we got Moscow, Russia. Uh, they hold an Irish week that lasts. Two weeks. <laughs> oh my god! It's called Irish Week, but it's fourteen days. Is long. that how long it took from uh, for Saint uh, Patrick to come back from That's Ireland to, to the UK for. to get liberated? The two week party, uh, and they do food, song, dance, bar crawls at all the local Irish pubs. Uh, and some people uh, in Russia believe that the government is so gung ho about it and pushing it so much because they want people to drink less vodka in the country and to instead try to become more beer centric oh. people. So they like really put a lot of money into St. Patrick's Day and create like a whole two week festival to try to like get people to make this their new culture and dick hmm. ditch like hard A basically. Yeah. So bar just, crawl, is that where you get so drunk that you're just crawling on the ground like, <laughs> where the fuck am I, dude? No, it, it actually was supposed to be bear crawl, but a drunk Irishman wrote this. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah, there's just a, in the government, there's just a bunch of bears. And they're like, we should get everybody inebriated on that day. And, and so they're walking around out in the wilderness, uh, <laughs> drunk and incapacitated. Yeah, no reason. Senator Bear, why do you say that? No, I'm not, no reason. <laughs> yeah, this does nothing to do I with... I think people like beer. Yeah, yeah. It has nothing to do with the fact that humans are tasty. No, no, especially after drinking beer. Definitely not. It's definitely not that I don't like vodka. <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah, that's of, all the... A lot of tra- traditions on... Uh, dude, I haven't celebrated St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, I think it's like, the, like forever. the one holiday my mom is into because every just get every drunk. yeah every drunk white mom oh my god it's a little bit irish is like right yeah <laughs> this is our thing this is our thing dude i've got the fighting irish guy on a jacket we like, have a plus six token of liver enhancement <laughs> let's go to russia and let's get go f- um, for ireland day oh man but yeah i never knew how that so many different cultures uh celebrated a japan Saint was day. interesting i didn't yeah they know love that it apparently it's like they're like so for it which i didn't awesome. know it was that big of a deal yeah, it's an interesting one because it's not like a recognized holiday as like a national holiday. Yeah. You know, it's never like on the list of like international right, holidays sure. or anything, but it has become such a, I don't know, Iconic. like a, a day of just like celebrating. A, it's like a fun thing, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, it's like, I don't know. It's kind of like Independence Day, I guess, but for the world. <laughs> I, I think the fact that it usually is accompanied by a lot of alcohol mm-hmm. it's just an excuse makes it like, makes it because there's a if you think about like religion, there's so many saints mm-hmm. And, and we don't celebrate. Right. Uh, there's like thousands of them, bro. We're not celebrating all of them. But like the one that was like, oh, the this, party was, guy. this guy kind of f***s a little bit. I know, it's, uh, it's funny, too. That, yeah, he was a saint and was just like helping people and spreading the word of God. And then we were like, that's like getting drunk. And you're right. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's, what, yeah. that's what he was doing. Yeah. <laughs> just made yeah. it into that. Right. Pretty funny. But yeah, there's your uh, Interesting. St. Patty's Day lore. Um, let me hear your Irish Elvises in the... Just, comments down below yeah that's a funny one 
I, I, I definitely am down to do some jigs with some, <laughs> with some drunken Irish. Do men. some jigs in Japan? Like, there's not a better place to jig down. That would be brother. fun. Very beautiful. This very is, peaceful. Yeah. I like that. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button and subscribe to see more. I like how Kevin's making a note of every swear word that we say. He's got just like 19 different ticks. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's a lot of swears. Uh, uh, yeah, be prepared for all the bleeps or funny sound effects. Here's, here's a few. Here's us. a few more for you, Kevin. Uh,